Hi, Stuart Neal, uh, real estate broker coach, team lead at Amagate Realty Advisors. And today I just wanted to spend a couple of minutes talking about why your sphere of influence might not be enough to sustain you. So what exactly is your sphere of influence? These are people that know, like, and trust you. And it's not uncommon to attempt to build a full-time career based purely on your sphere of influence. And there's no doubt that some people can manage that, but they are few and far between. So I just wanted to help you perhaps redefine the possibilities that your sphere might offer you. And then of course, we can go on to discuss about, uh, or go on to discuss different opportunities that uh, may exist outside of your sphere. The first problem you've got with your sphere of influence, especially if you're new, is that you lack credibility. So if your friends and family remember you as somebody that perhaps fixed cars or somebody that worked uh, in a dental clinic or supported a doctor or was a nurse or a teacher or whatever, the one challenge you've got is that people won't necessarily regard you as a real estate expert until some time has taken place. Now, there are methods that you can introduce and implement that will go some way to eliminating that old thought that people have in their minds and introducing a new thought, and I'd be happy to go into detail about that for you. Uh, then you also need to think about the rule of 10. So many newer industry members I talk to don't know enough people to sustain them. Um, the rule of 10 is simply this, uh, people make a move every 10 years. So perhaps you know, say 50 people, 50 people you can put into your database. Um, logically and statistically, according to the rule of 10, you know five potential clients uh, that might do something over the next 12 months. The challenge, of course, particularly if you're new and lacking credibility is will those folks choose to deal with you? Um, and then the, the third option, or the third, uh, not option, but the third complication, if you will, is that uh, many people, uh, and it depends on the culture, uh, may or may not wish to mix business with pleasure. Um, I know in, um, from my cultural background, I, I'm British, and I also know from talking to other real estate agents that uh, I think the Lebanese community say, share the same attitude, and that is that they like to keep friendship and business apart. Now, it's very different with perhaps Canadian-born Canadians, uh, but some people simply won't want to share their business with you because you're a friend. So I think you'd need, uh, in order to build a worthwhile practice, you need to look at measures outside of your sphere of influence, uh, you'll find uh, a link to another video uh, that I've done about this. And in fact, I did a workshop about this very subject back in November, and there'll be another one this year. But anyway, if you need help building your business outside of your sphere, I'd be glad to help. And all you have to do is uh, send me a quick email, stuart at ambergate.ca, uh, or give me a call here at the office and we can look at some options. 780-760-2014, extension 3. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks very much. Stay warm this cold January day. Cheers. Bye-bye.